There are some who would just read this story and shake their heads and say, man, the whole world, everything is turned upside down. Uh, and they'd be right. They'd be right to, to say that. But that's not good enough. Having that kind of reaction is, in a way, just being right where they want you, whoever they are. You know, I can talk about a they in a vague sense uh, without uh, without uh, necessarily uh, being able to name them all. Uh, by they, I just mean the establishment, okay? So, so one way to reflect on this story, which I will read here in a moment, is just to, is to say, oh man, like, what, what in the hell is the world's going to hell? It's, it, well, um, things are crazy. Yes, you're right. The world is going to hell. Yes, you're right. Things are crazy, but they are not just they haven't just gone that way they are being sent that way these things are happening in a cultivated manner um well let's let's look at what the story is first and then we'll talk more about uh, a little more about the the details of what i'm saying so headline reads lawsuit against university of wyoming sorority alleges Trans woman watched female members with visible erection. Like, you know, I have to say, if it wasn't, if if uh, someone read the story five years ago, someone had read this headline five years ago, they'd say, "What? What? It's a a woman with an erection? Isn't that a contradiction?" In ter oh, hate crime, hate crime. Can't say that. Uh, according to the lawsuit, the trans woman sorority member is sexually interested in women. Okay, so, story here. Several current and former members of this uh, sorority at the University of, University of Wyoming are suing the it, meaning the sorority, for allowing a, quote, peeping biological male identifying as a woman to join. <laughs> biological male meaning a man, <clears throat> right? Five years ago, we would just say a man. This, According to the suit, the trans woman, 21-year-old <laughs> uh, Artemis Langford, has been watching the female members of the sorority house. It's alleged that during one of these peeping incidents, Langford had a visible erection, quote-unquote erection. <laughs> Are they putting that in quotes? Because, you know, he's, he's actually a woman, so he doesn't actually have a penis. So it's not really an erection. It's just an erection, quote unquote. Uh, or or is it uh, because are they just quoting someone as saying saying erection? I, I like my uh, interpretation better. I'm more amused by my interpretation. The legal complaint noted that Langford is clearly which in, quote interested in women. Okay. Uh, the suit. Blah 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 comes almost half a year after the University of Wyoming sorority admitted Langford into its ranks. Uh, so this is a story in October. The first sorority in the University of Wyoming's history to accept an open transgender student into their ranks. At the time, Langford told the outlet, I feel so glad to be in a place that, I not, that not only shares my values, but to be in a sisterhood of awesome women that want want to make history. They want to break the glass ceiling, trailblazing, you know. And certainly I feel that as their first trans member, at least in the, um, the as, as, as their first trans member, at least in the chapter in Wyoming history, meaning, uh, uh, I guess he's hoping there will be others. Yes, I, I read I read it in a super masculine voice there because uh, because it amused me to do so. Though more than half a dozen women of the sorority have been disturbed since the inclusion of Langford in uh, in the community. That's sort of that's a, a 
comma splice Fox News, though more than half a dozen of the women of the sorority have been disturbed since the inclusion of the of Lambert in the community, comma, nothing has been done, or something like that. Anyway, uh, type, uh, type editor, copy editor, you know, get on that. They filed their lawsuit against the sorority and the council president, uh, which alleged that the community and its leaders, quote, have betrayed the central purpose and mission of the sorority by conflating the experience of being alone with the experience of men engaging in behavior generally associated with women. Uh, not only have the philosophical implications of a male joining the women's sorority disturbed the plaintiffs, but the behavior of Langdon, who is referred to in the suit by pseudonym Terry Smith, has been disturbing, has allegedly been disturbing. So, uh, he's been hanging out with these gals, and uh, he's been <laughs> voyeuristically peeping at them while they were in intimate situations. Uh, I don't know, it's not saying what these intimate situations are or were. Uh, according to the document, okay, so here, here here's the details. One of the victims of Langdon's alleged harassment claimed that while she walked down the hall to take a shower wearing only a towel, she felt an unsettling presence turned and saw Mr. Smith watching her silently. <laughs> Sorry. It's just like a, it's like a scene out of a movie or something. It's a, some really corny movie. Uh, but it's real. It's real. This, this farce is real. The document spe specifically described the erection scenario, stating, uh, Mr. Smith has, while watching members enter the sorority house, had an erection visible through his leggings. Other times, he has had a pillow in his lap. God. I mean, I'm laughing. I, I, I wouldn't be laughing if I was any of these girls' fathers. I mean, I would, I would, uh, you know, um, but there is a, there is certainly, you know, you got to laugh. You got to laugh at some of this stuff. Okay. You got to laugh. It doesn't mean it's not, uh, it's not, uh, a, a travesty. Um, but it's an amusing travesty. The women cited the male sorority member's Tinder profile as evidence that the suit, the user is sexually interested in women. The suit also alleges, well, so what? He's uh, like... Are, are, are you saying you're against lesbians now? That's what people would... Well, uh, I know people automatically trained in woke think would, would say that. So what if he's also into women? What does that have to do with anything? You know, he's still he's still a, a real... As much a woman as you are. Um, <laughs> anyway. The suit also alleged that Langdon has repeatedly questioned the women about what vagina look like breast cup size, whether women were considering breast reductions and birth control. Like, none of your business, guy. You know? Why are you, why are you asking all these questions? Um, oh, it's just, it's just girl talk. <laughs> that's what, that's what he would say, probably. That's, that's, that's what he would no doubt claim. Um... Since becoming a sorority member, Linkred has not lived in the house with the women. I'm not, this is a little bit, this is where things get a little, uh, I'm not quite clear on, you know, if he wasn't living in the house with the with the women, how was he in these situations where he was watching them walk down the hall to the shower? Maybe he was just visiting uh, and, and hanging out. That must be it. But he's set to move in residence within the year. Uh, where he would get access to shared shower facilities. Okay, so, you know, if I were this guy, and yes, I'm saying he's a guy, if I were, if I were he, I would take a hint and say, to, and think to myself, all right, well, I'm not wanted here. Uh, why would I want to force my presence upon people who don't, don't want me around. Why, how, why don't I go somewhere else where people will be more welcoming of, uh, 
somebody like me. The thing is, you're going to be hard put to find a place like that if you're if you're a guy uh, who dresses like a woman and calls himself a woman and wants to hang out with women and, and uh, ogle them while they're uh, semi-nude walking to the shower and ask them all kinds of uh, pervy questions uh, about their anatomy, you're not, you're not going to find, a, a, you're, uh, you're going to be hard put to find a, a group of women who are going to uh, really dig that. <laughs> so, so in a way, you know, in a way, I, w I would say, you know, take take a clue, or get a clue, take a hint. Uh, they don't want you there, but on the other hand, they, they don't want him anywhere. So, the, the whole idea is to try to force himself into a place like this and, and champion it as, uh, champion himself, uh, you know, as a crusader for, for progress. And w what, you know, this guy, Langford, uh whatever his real name is, um, it's not, it's not so much about him, you know, there, I think I saw a picture of him somewhere, and it, 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 it he looks about like you would expect him to look, all right, he, he, he would not, he does not pass, is what I'm, was I, what I mean to say, um, see if you can find that picture, it's, it's not included with this, this uh, piece here, but um, but anyway, it's not so much about this one uh, weirdo, uh, this one pervert, this this one uh, uh, dysfunctional, uh, um, you know, broken human being who who you know has has this. Uh, this uh, condition um, in which she's he's decided to uh, uh, to excite himself by uh, dressing like a woman and hanging out with women and ogling women and, and talking with talking to women about their the features of their anatomy and so forth uh, and and to say that he is a woman you know because that's that's the the trendy thing to do now, uh, the way to get to win points, to 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 get uh, virtue points. It's not so much about him; it's about why people like him are being championed. You know, he's just a, a battering ram. He's just a blunt instrument. He's just being used. You know, they don't really care about this guy. If they cared about this guy, they'd want to help him. They would say, dude, you've got some problems. Um, you know, you need to maybe see a therapist or, or maybe see an exorcist. You know, and I'm not just being glib. You know, I'm, I'm really being... He's obviously... This, this is, a, this is a, a person who is not well. Um... So if, if you want to make, make a case for, for compassion, I, I actually, uh, you know, some people would say, forget com compassion. Think about the woman, think just about the women he's, he's ter terrorizing and, and, uh, who are, who are his victims. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm aware of that side of it too. You can see both sides of the issue though. You can also, uh, you can see the people he's victimized as truly victims, but you can also see that he's he's truly a messed up dude. But my overarching point is, you know, who would have thought just a little while ago you, you'd read this story and the enlightened progressive take, takeaway, that you would, were supposed to have would be to say, oh, you know, screw those obnoxious, uh, you know, uh, cunts. These, those, those, the, the, these, uh, these women who are complaining about him. 
you know, uh, they're, they're just, uh, they, they just obviously can't accept him for who he is. And it's not, a, and they would say she, of course, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to budge on the pronoun thing. Um, but, you know, who would think that taking that kind of deeply, <laughs> one might even say misogynistic position, like, well, those, those bitches just, just, they're just going to have to, they don't like having some guy, uh, living among them, uh, watching them in intimate situations, asking them, uh, intimate questions that, that creep them out and, and, uh, you know, living in terror and fear, wondering if, if he's going to try something at any moment, you know, uh, because obviously he, he's, he's got the body of a man. He's large, larger than them. He's stronger than them. He could overpower them. It could happen. Um, but you know, they just should, the, those, those uppity cunts should just, should just, uh, stuff it and, and, uh, and deal with it because, and, and stop being so closed minded and bigoted. And, and, you know, who would have thought that that would be the progressive take on this news story? And that ultimately, you know, well, at least for now, at least for now, in, in, you know, the latest of what's being pushed, it, it might be different two years from now or three years or five years from now. Hopefully, it's by some time in the you know in the near near future, you know, people will have risen up and and all of this will have burned down uh, in a massive cleansing fire. Um, this entire movement of what's called wokeness, uh, you know, but interesting, and just speaking analytically how it just seems to take these different kinds of forms at different times. And now is the, the, the tranny moment, right? Now is the moment where, uh, you're, you're just supposed to, um, uh, you're supposed to read this news story. That's obviously patently absurd. Uh, and you know, reach the least obvious, conclusion, which is this guy belongs in the sorority because he's a true woman and, uh, they should just, they just need to, th those women there just need to get used to him being there among them because, uh, you know, <laughs> like, like who would have thought that even 10 years ago and, and where are things going to be even a short time from now, but here's the thing, you know, it's when you take that sort of position on it, then it, then your position becomes one of learned helplessness. It's like, oh, they're just doing this to us. They're just doing that to us. And what, 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 what are they going to do next? And, you know, and it's almost like you have no, no choice. Of course you have a choice. You can reject all of this. You can choose to say no to all of this. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what I, that's the ultimate, uh, uh, conclusion that I want to, uh, the way that I want to end this particular video, you can just say no, say no to it and, uh, say, no, this is not acceptable. I don't care what you call me. Uh, this is patently absurd. I don't care how many billions of dollars you've got behind this. I don't care how many think tanks you, NGOs and corporations uh, and powerful entities you have pushing this, this, uh, uh, you know, patent nonsense. This, this, uh, you obviously are pushing this with certain ends in mind. And I won't, have anything to do with it and uh i will will not stand for it and that's how i'm going to end this video thank you for watching